Hey everybody, Tails here, and uh, I just sold my 100th item on my Etsy shop, and uh, today um, I'd just like to show a little bit of behind the scenes of uh, like how I run my Etsy shop, like what I sell, uh, how I store my games and everything like that, and just a few items that I've sold that I think if like you were gonna like make your own Etsy or eBay, like just what items you should look out for and uh, what uh, sells really well on my Etsy. So yeah, just a little bit of behind the scenes for you guys, uh, just to get a bit of an insight of uh, how I run my Etsy shop. Of course, for starters, I just look through um, like just games that I don't really play, at least just some games that I've had for a while. I mean, if it's something like brand new that I just got, like if I wanted to like sell Horizon Forbidden West and it's like decreased in value, I got the game day one, stuff like that. I usually just sell stuff that's either like used, sometimes like brand new or just Stuff that I got for, like, not that much and goes for a whole lot much. But, yeah, if I wanted to sell, like, my physical copy of Little Nightmares, which I actually don't want to. But, um, yeah, I just sort through, like, just see what games I don't really want. Like, um, I found this recently, All-Star Slam and D-Ball, a sealed copy. Like, I don't really need it, so I might, might like, sell it if I want to. Or, like, maybe my disc-only Dino Crisis or just... Like, a Mega Man Legacy Collection, like, I don't really use my 3DS as much. But, um, I just sell stuff that I either just, like, uh, have already beaten or, like, won't actually play. Or if, or if I've, like, gotten the remaster, like, I have the, uh, the Neo Collection. And, uh, I, I, I don't have the PS4 versions, but, yeah, I've, like, I had, like, the older versions of uh, the Neo Collection or just something else. I just sell those old copies. Even, like, disc-only stuff, like, I wish I had uh, the complete case for Shantae, I'd sell that. But, yeah, I just look around, just, uh, I even sell stuff that isn't video game related, like, I have some Legos that I've listed, like this, uh, uh, Slave 1 set, which is, like, sealed, the, I mean, the adhesive came off a little bit, but it's still, like, sealed. This Yu-Gi-Oh! board game that I've had for a while, a, a destroyed Gungan sub set, which still has all the pieces and everything. I need to fix that box, but, um, yeah, this is where... I store all my uh, games, and this is just a box of like just uh, an old frame and uh, or just a frame I've had for a while and some Beanie Babies. But yeah, this is just how I store my stuff. I wish I didn't have my uh, Marvel Legends like figure over here, but I mean, I wish I had a bigger shelf and stuff like that. But yeah, this is just where I uh, sort my games. I usually sort them by like on um, like what type it is. Like if there's a Greatest Hits version or PlayStation Hits, like I just sort through there, like Black Label and where it sits, if it's sealed, I'll put it, like, next to the games, like, for example, here's all my, like, used PS3 games, and here's my sealed copy of Everybody Dance 2, and a sealed, uh, one of those sealed, uh, PS3 things that you get with your console, and here's, like, just my sealed stuff, my Anthem, Concrete Genie, Medieval, Zone of the Enders, Ratchet and & Clank, and then there's my PS2 stuff, and as you can see, I have Greatest Hits over there. If I had, like, a Player's Choice, I'd sort it through there, like, Black Label and then Player's Choice, my Wii games sell, like, really quickly. Like, they don't, like, last a long time on my Etsy. So, like, I'll just sort through there my one Wii U game that I just have listed. And then I just put, like, CD-based stuff right around here. And then, uh, usually whatever, like, doesn't sell. Like, I've had these little, like, CDR things for a while. I might, like, take these off my Etsy because, like, you know, I just, like, it's, I don't think it's worth the shipment. But, yeah, usually Xbox, Xbox 60 stuff. And then, like, I don't usually sell DVDs, but, like, usually just anime stuff or just something that I know that is worth a lot of money. Like, like this I found recently, this uh, Gundam Endless Waltz. I haven't shown it on my uh, YouTube channel, but I found it at uh, Savers for not that much. Or, or, no, I actually found it at the used bookstore, but, yeah. Uh, welcome to the NHK DVD, which uh, someone was actually interested in it. And uh, hopefully, they, uh, hopefully they get it. And then uh, some... Other stuff like, um, yeah, there's uh, my Hobgoblin sealed figure, and this, uh, it isn't official, but it's just this Zelda book that I found at Savers years ago, and that's just where I put some of the smaller items like my SD cards, calculators, uh, like loose Game Boy DS games, stuff like that, and I just put them in there. I mean, that's just that's just how I store some of my stuff, so that's just a bit of an inside of my shelf. I have, I need to like sort through like my bubble wrap and I need to get more bubble wrap and uh for now this is just where I put my uh like uh packages like uh dvd and uh, I have a whole bunch of cd mailers like I need to like sell some like cd based stuff uh some of these flat um like mailers um like I use these 
for like if I sell like more than one game, like I'll sell like usually four games and then I'll like put each one in like it's a little like flat or, or I'll use these. Um, and then like if I sell like more than one item, like I can just like uh, label like what game it is and then just like put it in there and everything like that. And then I just put it all in like one big mailer, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's just how I uh, uh, do some my Etsy things and uh yeah overall i'll just uh show you what i've sold and uh yeah that'll be the video so uh, i actually forgot to mention it but uh i forgot to tell you where i actually get my mailers so basically you can get mailers pretty much anywhere uh, the best places that i like to go to to buy mailers are um either walmart or staples and uh they have the cheapest mailers you can get like an individual set which is what i usually get you can of course, buy like uh, like a single one at the dollar store, of course, for not that much. And uh, yeah, like just do that. Like you can get like as many mailers. Like I guess um, a little bit of a tip, um, like if you're going to like make your own Etsy or sell vintage stuff. Uh, what I usually do is that I usually just look for things that I'm aware of. For example, video games that, I, that I'm aware of. Legos, I'm also aware of that. And sometimes, like, uh, I'll watch, like, a lot of, like, other YouTubers, like, viewing YouTubers, like, Retro Future or, um, Mr. Rightway, like, I'll watch his videos, like, uh, like, he'll, he'll say to, like, um, like, uh, keep an eye on this game or just, uh, look out for this game. And, uh, there are some games that I'm, like, still looking out for, like, Godzilla on PS4, that's, like, a super hard-to-find game. But, like, yeah, I just, um, like, just try to find, like, what I can and... If I can't find video games, like, whether I'm at, like, a, a thrift store or a video game store, I mean, some games, I, I don't usually tell people where I, like, uh, find my games, but, like, usually it's just either from my collection or if it's just something that I've, like, bought to resell. Like, I don't usually get items to, like, just sell, but, um, yeah, I just like to buy stuff myself, but, like, even if I just, like, don't really use it, then, like, I just sell those. Um, yeah, and there's even, like, uh, I do play a lot of, like, PS4 and PS5, like, I'd actually play those, but then there's, like, of course, you know, All-Star Slam and D-Ball, and, uh, I just, not really my kind of game, but, um, yeah, I, I just sell stuff that I'm aware of, and some stuff that I'm, like, <laughs> surprised that I've even sold, like, I've sold, like, a, um, a music CD, a Garth Brooks music CD, I sold for, like, 25, and I got it for, like, not that much at a, uh, a thrift store that I went to, I, I've sold, like, uh, Xenosaga a couple times, I've sold like uh, some sealed PS4 stuff. I've sold um, I've sold Guitar Hero. I've sold oddly enough sports titles, mostly NHL sports um, or, or NHL 2K11, NHL Slapshot, which I even sold another copy recently. Um, I've sold PS3 stuff, my Wii games. Like oddly enough, like they're usually just around like ten ten dollars or more. Like I, I don't sell stuff five and under. Like anything five and under, I just use those for trade to like just get other items to like sell like either sell like for profit or just stuff for myself but um you know like and, and I don't just like uh s sell stuff just to get more games I, I have other uses to like um sell stuff on Etsy like of course uh s selling stuff for packages I have to pay for uh uh like uh shipping like uh the package and everything uh of course I do need since I drive around a lot I drive around by myself like I do need, of course, gas in my car. I pay, I go for that. And, and just, like, other things. I don't usually have to mention that, but, I mean, that's just what I use, like, for, uh, like, just earnings that I get from my Etsy. Usually I sell, like, two to three items a week. Like, I just try to sell whatever's popular, which is also a bit of another tip, but I'm sure you already know that by now. And, uh, that, that's pretty much, like, how I've started off my Etsy. A lot of people have commented that my shelf looks like a video game store, and uh, I do agree a bit, like, I mean, my game is, like, my shelf is pretty much like a library, and I, of course, have, like, just stacks of, like, other games, like Anthem, and my friend is interested in Transformers, I'll do a trade with him at some point, and, yeah, that's pretty much, um, how I run my Etsy shop, so, uh, that's it for this video, um, I hope, um, like, you got a bit of a, like, idea for, like, your future Etsy, or just, um, if you want to sell stuff, on, like, yourself, and yeah, overall, um, thank you for um, watching, and for those that have bought stuff on my Etsy, thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll keep my Etsy up and running, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys um, like have a chance to like get some games. I'll, I'll even post like 
uh, certain games I'll be selling on my community post. Like, you'll, I'll sell, like, uh, whatever I, I sell. Like, I usually um, stack some, like, games or DVDs and stuff like that. And then just, like, take a picture. And then I'll just say that I'll be listing these right now. Uh, just so I can, like, like uh, I'm sure there's, like, people that are just interested in certain stuff. So, yeah. Overall, thank you for watching.